So, I was asked to read today, and I asked Trace them, like, what do you want me to read? And we had an oral interpretation class, and I'm like, what do you want me to read? And she's like, none of the stuff you ever did before. I want you to read your original poetry. I'm like, okay. So, I wrote this yesterday. And has there, anyone ever had the awkward moment more when someone's like behind you in the checkout line and you can tell they're judging you? Like they're just staring at you? And like, hello, I can tell you're judging me. Like, seriously. Okay, so I have one of those moments. It's called, Dear Lady. I was in the checkout line and I heard a lady behind me tell me, tell her husband, I bet that girl has problems. Problems because she dyed her hair that color. <laughs> Dear lady, <laughs> you don't even know me. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. The tears I cried and the roads I walked on, and you certainly don't know my problems. Sure, I have a lot of problems and obstacles I had to jump my way over, but hey, we all have problems. You can't look me in the eyes and tell me that you do not. If you think it's my relationships, Maybe. I've lost so many friends in the past couple of years, you'd be so surprised. But I gained so many, that makes the other ones look like dirty piled laundry in the corner. Boys? Huh. Well, that could be a problem. I go through them like gummy bears. Sort of a thing with a bowl. But it always comes out two ways. Either one, I push them away because I'm afraid of getting hurt again. Or I come out used, cheated, or abused. But all that has made me stronger. It could be all the people I've lost in my life that I left too young, or I never got a chance to really see, but I learned to celebrate their life instead of mourning their loss. Maybe it's the very reason I stood in line that day. I finally got something to relieve the battle with my body and the illness, but I overcome all that. It could be the very words of the kids turning to me in grade school. They too judge me by the cover. I wouldn't be surprised if they were your son or your daughter. But I learned to pull the knife out, forgive them as I forgive you. After all this running through my head, I hear the lady say, her parents must have went wrong somewhere. Okay, really, lady, really? You can't, you can judge me all you want, but no one talks about my mama that way. <laughs> I may have been torn away from my father at young age, and he may have put up his wall between us after that, but it's totally, slowly tumbling down. My mom has never failed in raising me. Sure, she might have let my brother and sister pick on me a little, too much, but that just taught me to stand up for myself and invest in protective gear. <laughs> my mom taught me to be different and go for the dreams that I want. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going for my dreams. And I get kicked out by people that say I can't, but that just makes me say that I can. I was raised by the motto, be the person that you, be the change that you want to see in the world. I was always puzzled by that. That's why I stand up here before you today. I hope my words change you. Sure, it may be a lot to ask, but hey, if the 17 year old can find the cure to cancer, I can certainly change a few minds. So, lady, you should know you're judging me by my color and also thinking too hard. So my hair is this color because I like this color. <laughs> I like being different and I'm not afraid to show it. Different is what's going to make a change in this world. If you're going to judge someone, have their story first. I wish I could have all that come out of my lips and tell her that day. I just simply looked at her and I smiled. And I said, thank you. I got my bags and walked out of that store, hoping that someday she would get this message and she would never judge again. <laughs> <laughs>